Hi, this is Meena Kejraj and I am the Blueworks Live product architect. I am here to take you through what's in store in our upcoming Blueworks Live release expected to go live on June 11, 2022. This release of Blueworks Live lets you use the comments feature more effectively and also provides option for exporting diagrammatic interchange information in the same file as the .ppmn file. The enhanced comments feature enables users to locate comments easily and use comments more effectively with options like mark as unread and edit. With this release, you will also have the option for exporting a single ppmn file which includes the DI. The diagram interchange or DI for short is part of the BPM into standard and it provides graphical details such as the position and size of elements and of lines. Let's look at all of this in more detail. First, let's talk about what you can now do to use comments more effectively. Blueworks Live users can now easily identify where comments on processes and decisions exist with distinct indicators to denote unread comments and all comments. If there are unread comments, the unread comments indicator is displayed at the process or decision breadcrumb and the activity where the comment is marked. Once all comments have been read, this now changes to a different indicator to show the presence of comments. This way, you could always find comments even after they have been read. The enhanced comments indicators are available in the space and library details page, the process and decision breadcrumbs, and activities within a process or a decision. We now have the edit option for comments. This is available to editors and contributors who have edit access to a process or a decision. And this is available on the comments made by that user. As a process owner or reviewer, users sometimes need to edit their own comments to correct them or to add clarification. Deleting or recreating them make them show up as new unread comments to other users even though the change is only minor which is disruptive to other users. With edit option now available, users can correct or edit their own comments without having to worry about notifying other users constantly. This is intended for minor edits and will not reset the red state of the comment for other users. If the edits are significant and the owner did wish for other users to notice the change, she should simply create a new comment instead. We also have the mark as unread option now for comments. This is available to users who have edit access and is made available on the comments made by other users. As a process owner or reviewer, users sometimes need to come back to comments later and this option will allow you to do that. The default visibility of comments to editors, contributors and viewers can be managed at the admin settings and by the user himself. A new admin setting, the show all comments by default to editors and contributors has been introduced. This value set here applies to the entire account. If disabled, comments will not be displayed in process and decision views. Comment indicators will continue to be available in space and library detail page for easy identification in case of all read comments and at the process and decision breadcrumbs in case of an unread comment. Users have the option of right click to show or hide all comments to define the comment visibility at user level. This setting comes with a subsetting show all comments to viewers. This can be enabled only if show all comments by default to editors and contributors is enabled. If disabled, comments indicators will not be visible across the various screens for viewers. If disabled, viewers will not have a right-click option to override at the user level as well. The user's choice from the right-click menu item to toggle on or off comments visibility sticks for the duration of their login session. Users will now be able to include comments in their Excel exports. This is available in the space exports as well as the individual process and decision exports. We have a few more add-ons to comments. You can now add a comment on an activity by directly using the option available on the right-click menu. To provide additional flexibility, we've made it easier for you to quickly open a comment by clicking on the comment indicator on any activity within a process or a decision. Opening the documentation view will not mark all unread comments as read as it used to earlier. Instead, you can choose to read them by viewing each comment in an activity in the process diagram view or discovery map view or use the mark all comments as read option in the documentation view. With the allowed comment length increased to 400 characters, you can now make more meaningful comments. 
Next up, let's look at what has changed in the BPMN2 export. If you export process diagrams today using the BPMN2 export option for consumption by other tools, you will be pleased to hear that the BPMN2 diagram interchange information can now be included in the same .bpmn file. BPMN2 export with DI in a single file is available both via the UI and via the API as an option. Single file export will not be the default download option in the API, but it is controlled via optional parameter to allow backwards compatibility. The existing option of generating two separate BPMN export files will continue to be available for use. And so to summarize, this release of Blueworks Live enables users to work effectively with comments and to include the BPMN to diagram interchange information in a single .bpmn file export. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for using Blueworks Live. And we hope you find this release valuable.